You're in the scene with Shindy TV. This is Ron Marcus, your host, and we are at the Sunset Rare Reserve wine tasting here at the Manchester Grand Hyatt in downtown San Diego. And we're going to be tasting a lot of fantastic wines from a lot of different places here. There's also a lot of gourmet food being provided by several local restaurants that we'll be highlighting. So come on in with us and have a good time and cheers. You're in the scene with Shindy TV. Wow. Tell us about this event. Well, this is our uh, Sunset Rare and Wine Tasting. We have over 25 wineries here, 18 or so restaurants, and a couple of breweries. And then we even have a tequila guy. He happened to slip in here. So it's a, a wonderful time to get to experience some different wines that are rare or reserved and really enhance your palate. So it's a great event. We partnered up with Make-A-Wish, and so Make-A-Wish is actually the recipient of a, uh, the portion of every ticket sold, as well as they get 100% of all the auctions. Hey everyone, I'm here with Rebecca All from... Grazier Winery. And uh, tell us about the wines you have here today. Okay, we have 100% uh, Semillon 2004. We also have a 2001 Cabernet Franc. That's our signature wine. That's what we're well known for. I have a Meritage, which is our Cour de Lyon, and I also have a Cabernet Sauvignon. Our wines are in the Diamond Mountain District in Napa Valley. We're in quite a few restaurants in San Diego. Donovan Steakhouse, Dakota Grill, downtown San Diego, Jack's in La Jolla. Here we go. That's really nice. It's uh, subtle at first and it has a nice bite right afterwards. Hey, hi everyone, you're in the scene with Shindy TV. I'm here with Louis Cotet. He's with Cass Vineyard and Winery there in Paso Robles and he is going to give us a sample of some really good wines here. So tell us about the wines we got today. We've got uh, at the winery, Paso Robles is very famous for its Rhone varietals, so we definitely have a lot of Rhones. We've got Grenache, Mouvet, Syrah on the reds, and then on the whites, Marsan, Rousson, and Viognier. And then uh, we also have all five Bordeaux. We've got Cab, Cab Franc, Malbec, Petit Verdot, and Merlot, obviously. What's your favorite wine to make? Cab Sav is the king of the reds, so I love making red, love drinking, love drinking Cab. We are really in the scene now. All the rumors that you heard about Marilyn, they are not true. She is here oh, tonight with us. Mm -hmm. Tell us uh, your impressions of the festival so far. Well, I just got here and the champagne is very good. You know, one of the reasons I always What's drink champagne is... Here, Hi, Jack! What's happening, man? <laughs> I'm glad I'm here down in San Diego with these <laughs> beautiful people having this great celebration of wine. My big burning question of the night, we're in a wine festival in San Diego. What is a nice tequila like yours doing in a wine festival like this? Well, we think people need some good tequila too sometimes. And we make an exceptionally good product. We make 100% of our product out of agave and 100% stone crushed as it was done over 100 years ago. And it gives a very good flavor and a very smooth taste. And uh, well, you'll have to try some and then you'll see what we're doing here. Salud. Salud. Well, I have to tell you that this is about the smoothest and tastiest tequila I've ever had, and that's no joke. Hola, soy Patricio Jordain con Tequila Fortaleza, el mejor tequila del mundo, y estás en la escena con Shindy TV. I am the San Diego Regional Manager for Firestone Walker Brewery. Firestone Walker Brewery is a small craft brewery out of Paso Robles, California. We're distributed exclusively to California. We have a Firestone Walker DBA, which is double barrel ale. We also have a Pale 31, which is a California style pale ale. We also have our newest beer, which is our Union Jack. It's 7.5% alcohol by volume. It's got a very spicy, hoppy quality to it and over 72 IBUs. The food, I don't know if you've gotten to walk around, but the food is absolutely unreal tonight.
Kimberly Campbell. I'm the restaurant and catering manager at the Oasis Bar and Grill. We're located just east of La Jolla and south of Del Mar. Uh, we're located in the Woodfin Hotel. We're a fairly new restaurant, kind of a baby. We're only around for two years now, but we offer a Provencal style cuisine. Uh, the chef here has prepared a pork tenderloin today with a roasted uh, wild mushroom polenta with a little bit of black currant mustard. We do catering. We do. We have a wonderful tropical patio that's uh, available for either for rent for private venues or just for daily dining. I'm here with Nick Brune and Adam Heiner. Nick is the chef. Adam is the owner of Eco Caterers. Everything that we serve first off is organic. Uh, all of the food is bought from local farmers and we really try to talk to the farmers and find out where their product comes from and how they raise their, their product and their, their meats. It's all sustainable, it's all local and uh, we really just try to put an effort towards the quality of food and the presentation. We put so much energy into our food, it's amazing. We, we use a small amount of electricity as possible. We make sure everything that goes out is the perfect product. We taste everything raw before we serve it, whether it be meat, produce, whatever, whatever it is, it, it's got to be perfect for it to be on our plate. We want to show people that organic, eco-friendly cuisine can be beyond delicious and, and, and beyond expectations, you know? And where can we find your food? Where are you catering? Uh, we're catering all over, for all over Southern California, pretty much from Santa Barbara down. We, uh, we, we take care of anything from a two-person sit-down dinner to, uh, you know, massive events up to the thousands of people. So. so for those of you that didn't quite make it down here for this time around, April 2009 is your chance to try even more wines, I'm sure, and even more gourmet food from San Diego's best restaurants at this wonderful festival. And you're in the scene wow. with Shindy TV. Lou Ed. Lou Ed. <laughs> I said it right. He's from South <laughs> Africa with a Dutch name and us Americans <laughs> don't know how to pronounce anything but English. Now you got to give me a little kiss on camera. Mm -hmm. You just made my year. Oh. I've been drinking a little wine already tonight, so I'm going to ask the same questions like I don't know how many times. Well, hello. Hi there. <laughs> I'm here with my new amigo. <laughs> Let's try that again. Did you say knowledgeable? Knowledgeable. Are you sure? No, that's what you said. <laughs> but in general, I love Zinfandels because they're a little spicier, like me. My name is Rodney. Rodney? Yeah, Rodney Dangerfield. You're looking really good, Rodney. Yeah, people saying I'm dead. <laughs> I just came back from the fountain of youth, you know. I tell you, my wife, I tell you, you know, I'm telling her the truth. You know, I said, honey, I, you know, I'm seeing a psychiatrist. She says, hey, you know, honey, I'm going to tell you the truth, too. I'm seeing a psychiatrist, two plumbers and a bartender. I know she's cheating. And you're in the scene with Sin... You did it. You're in the yeah. scene. Yeah. I'm in the scene. Right, you are, <laughs> but now they are. Salute. Salute. I guess we'll see what happens later. You know, tequila makes their clothes fall off. Maybe a few more. Who knows? Or your clothes. <laughs> Stay tuned.